Hey guys, it's Dumbo Dan from SampleLibraryReview.com. Today, we're taking a look at Case Solo Strings from ADO. ADO's Case Solo Strings Library is a huge collection of aleatoric string effects. And in Stephen McDonald's full written review, he said what stands out about this library is its unique and intimate playback from eerie to downright chaotic. Now, I want to call out here uh, composer Colin E. Fisher, who did this track Enigma for the 8DO case strings demo. This is a amazingly beautiful piece of music. Uh, you can find Colin on uh, Sound Prank on Facebook and Twitter. Okay, so strings downloads as 22 gigabytes. The sample set comes from uh, sampling a violin, viola, cello, and bass solo string performances in aleatoric effects styles. Contains 23 instrument patches with 96 different articulations. There's uh, six microphone positions for control over the sound. The library does require the full version of Contact 5.5 or higher. Case Solo String sells for $349 from 8DO. Now this will serve as a companion video to Steve McDonald's full written review of Case Solo Strings, in which he found the sounds are exactly like you'd imagine, ugly, chaotic, abrasive, and wonderfully strange. Now, this is a massive collection of samples, and it covers a wide uh, area of avant-garde and strange articulations. You've got glissandos, bow drops. Wood taps. Bends. scratches, textures. As Stephen pointed out in his review, essentially, if you can think of a weird thing to do with a violin, viola, cello, or bass, it's probably been recorded in this library. Stephen found the built-in effects provided an insane amount of options to craft your own sound. As far as the pros go, um, it's a very big collection of sounds and very well organized. 8DO's inclusion of the randomize button on most effects can take your inspiration from zero to 101 click. On the cons, there's a lack of tempo lock patches, which makes timing some of this playback uh, difficult if you're trying to get locked into a rhythm. The other thing that I think is important that Steven also noted is that at $349 price, definitely on the higher end for such a specific niche library. 
In the end, Stephen found that the library is perfect for scoring tension and horror and is likely to find a place in many media composers' templates. This has just been a little video companion summary um, that'll go along with Stephen McDonald's full written review of Case Solo Strings by 8DO. That review page will have all of the official demos and videos, as well as any other uh, review videos we find around the web. So you can learn all about the instrument all on the one page at Sample Library Review. Thanks for checking out the video. We'd love your thoughts. Are you interested in the case libraries? What other aleatoric instruments are you excited to hear? Please like, share, and subscribe. We'd love your support. And be sure to head over to samplelibraryreview.com for the latest news, reviews, and our weekly deals page.